Psalm 77. You don't let me sleep. I'm too distressed even to pray. I think of the good old days, long since ended, when my nights were filled with joyful songs. I search my soul and ponder the difference now. Has the Lord rejected me forever? Will he never again be kind to me? Is his unfailing love gone forever? Have his promises permanently failed? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he slammed the door on his compassion? And I said, this is my fate. The Most High has turned his hand against me. But then I recall all you have done, O Lord. I remember your wonderful deeds of long ago. They are constantly in my thoughts. I cannot stop thinking about your mighty works. O oh God, your ways are holy. Is there any God as mighty as you? Sleepless nights. I've had more than my share. The cause of my sleepless nights often has a physical reason, either too much coffee or maybe leg cramps. But lying there awake, if there is not a sweet communion of prayer, my thoughts can gravitate to a dark place. Many people, when they lie awake, worry over their circumstances. That's a hopeless preoccupation. Dark, depressing, anxiety-causing thoughts flood the consciousness, and they can't seem to be put aside. The overactive imagination creates what-ifs that are horrifying should they ever come to pass. Many people, they lie awake thinking about their own sins. This is worse yet, brooding over things we've done that we shouldn't have done and things left undone that we should have done. It's as unhealthy of a pastime as I can imagine. Night estimates of our sin are generally exaggerated. Besides, this going over our past sins is just wrong. It dishonors God by failing to accept all our sins are pardoned through Jesus Christ's sacrificial death. If God no longer remembers our sins, you can be sure that our pondering over them through the night is not a healthy activity. The wise course of action when you can't sleep in the night is to set your thoughts on God. Even the most difficult of circumstances will be seen differently when we associate them with our communion with God. If our past sins do come to mind, we can remember how God has dealt with them and how Jesus himself prayed for us that we would be sanctified. It'll be a life lesson never to be forgotten if you can remember that the fears you create in the night generally never come to pass in the light of day. If you have trouble sleeping, don't sit and ponder the side effects of getting vaccinated. Don't lie awake pondering your sins. Strike up a conversation with Jesus. Recall all that he's done for you. Think about his mighty works. Our God is an awesome God. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.